Good morning, viewers. You are welcome to this edition of Daily Devotional Program on Gov TV. Hope you had a night rest. And I want to believe that you woke up healthy this morning. Glory be to God. Today, Tuesday, 9th December 2014, another fresh day. In this new week, we shall be looking into the Sunday School Manual of the Gospel Faith Mission International, as usual. The topic for today's edition is Crucifying the Carnal Nature. And this is under the weekly program, The Laws of Spiritual Maturity, Part 1. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. As we go into the lesson, Father, speak to our inner mind. At the end of it, we want to praise and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible reference is Romans chapter 8 from verse 1 to verse 11. Romans chapter 8 from verse 1 to verse 11. I read. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life is Christ Jesus, and had made me free from the law of sin of death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his Son, in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteous of the law, the righteousness of the law, might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can it be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are in the flesh. But in the spirit, ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. The last verse. That if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwelt in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwelleth in you. After giving one's life to Christ, the natural self, which was under the control of sin, will want to rise and dominate. It is natural. It will come. It did happen to me. I was once a drunkard. After giving my life to Christ, the traces of that came to visit me, but, well, because I was continuing with the Lord, I could not lay my hands upon it or go back into it. Spiritual maturity is demonstrated by crucifying the natural self, also known as the carnal nature, definitely. And that is why we are going into the maturity of a Christian in his or her Christian life. If one does not go into this, he will continue to remain an underdog. As long as a person gives free reign to his carnal nature, he cannot grow spiritually because the carnal nature and the spiritual nature are enemies. 
The carnal man cannot please God. Jesus cannot please God. Jesus did not give room for his carnal nature, to, this carnal nature, to operate. He was tempted the same way as we are, yet without sinning. We should imitate Paul, who was able to say, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Why? Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the song says, it is not I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. It is no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. In me, in me, Jesus is alive in me. It is no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. And Paul continued to say, And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the flesh faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2 verse 20. Many remain spiritual babes because they refuse to crucify the carnal nature in their carnal nature. Still ruling. Is carnal nature still ruling your life today? And that is the reason why we are going into this morning's devotional talk so that you may not remain in your carnal nature. The devotion this morning, devotional program this morning wants you to mature. Just like the weekly topic tells us for this week that the laws of spiritual maturity and that has to do with the statement purpose of the gospel faith mission which says to preach the word of God and to bring membership people into membership family, to teach the word of God, to enhance freedom and promote Christian maturity. It is this Christian maturity which we are treating this week because without being matured in the word of God, you find it difficult to continue in this way. For example, a child who is born, the parents who want the child to mature, as a child, you begin to walk, to crawl at a stage. At another stage, you begin to walk. But when the child fails to do that, it means there's something wrong with such a child. And as Christians, the word of God tells us that there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. For the law of the spirit of life is Christ and had made me free. He has set us free. And not only has he, has he set us free, he has set us free from sin and death. Therefore, anyone who has been set free from sin and death needs to live a new life, a life different from the life he was living before. Just like I made mention briefly, I was a drunkard. But when the Lord Jesus Christ touched my heart, drinking of this palm wine, drinking of ogogoro became things of old because I was studying the word of God, maturing every day. Therefore, for what the law could not do in the time past, the spirit of the Lord does it now. That is, the spirit of God living in one, making one to live a righteous life. Therefore, today, as the topic tells us spiritual maturity in behavior, in your life, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you interact with people. People should know the difference between how you interact now from how you were interacting before giving your life to Jesus because they will have known the difference. Something different will have taken place in your life. And definitely, anyone who gives his life to Christ, when anyone sees him or her, he will see the difference between his old life and new life. By the devotional talk of this morning, I want you to make a new decision. 
due to the lesson you have learned. Tomorrow is another day. And instead of 7 a.m., join us at 6 a.m. As we share the word of God with you. You will never remain the same again. If you have questions to ask, don't hesitate to reach us by email or call any of our dedicated lines as shown on the screen. Thanks and God bless you. Remain blessed in Jesus' name.